it's about that time guys hey welcome back today i'm going to show you how to make my delicious saucy beef braised short ribs when i tell you these ribs are going to be mouth watering delicious not to mention they're going to be falling off the bone tender you know cooking with tammy don't come to the table without the meat falling off the bone the meat has to be tender in order for it to be what cooking with tammy approved so without further ado guys let's introduce these ingredients and get started for our short ribs we are going to need to season these bad boys up with some fresh thyme as well as fresh rosemary parsley tomatoes onions garlic red bell peppers bay leaves ground black pepper salt oil flour we're also going to be using some beef bouillon it's going to be so delicious not to mention we're going to use our worcestershire sauce as well as chicken bouillon powder to pull and tie that flavor together we also have some barbecue sauce in the back as well as some cooking wine we have some sherry wine but here's the thing guys if you could get your hand on some red wine it's going to make it taste even better and last but not least to start the show we have about three to four pounds of beef short ribs washed and ready to go anyway without further ado let's get to prepping we're gonna rough chop our parsley and rough chop this simply means it ain't gotta be perfect <laughs> just go in there chop it up just a bit and guess what we are finished i'm gonna take it and place it in a bowl right here and we're gonna reserve it for later we're gonna bring the garlic to the center and we're gonna work on our garlic go in with the back of the knife and just smash it on up and why are we doing that only because it makes it easier to chop it up because you don't want to chase the garlic all over the cutting board not to mention it releases all of those great flavors yes those flavors are what's going to make our braised beef taste even more delicious and this you want to mince up really good nevertheless it's going to break down during the cooking process anyway but like i said you want all of the flavors to be released and this my friends is perfect though that's it we're gonna add it to this ramekin right here next up is gonna be our bell pepper and I'm using what I have which is half of a bell pepper if you have a whole bell pepper of course you can go in there and use a whole bell pepper it's not gonna um, apprehend the flavor whether or not if you use a whole one or half and this is perfect when you're dealing with braising or making a stew, your chops do not have to be perfect because as I mentioned earlier, everything is gonna break down anyway. So it's like, what's the point of doing it all perfect and stuff, right? Not necessary. Boom, take off the first layer, just like that. Boom, give it a quick rinse and go down the middle. Just gonna slice it on up. And I'm not gonna chop it anymore before I start to cry on camera because woo, those flavors, the acidity in the onion, mm, especially in the yellow onion, it would do it to you. It would have you embarrassing yourself crying on camera. Have everybody asking what's wrong with you. Meanwhile, there's nothing wrong with you. We just diced up a couple onions that has all the acidity in the world. And for this recipe, I'm going to use, let's see, we're going to use two tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Same thing here. We're just going to give it a rough chop, cut it in fours, and that's perfect. Look at how vibrant and pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. Nice and fresh. It's going to bring that perfect acidity contrast to our braised beef. Next up, we are going to season our short ribs, and I'm going to use some kosher salt for this. I love the kosher salt because it sticks really well. Add enough, not too much. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pat it in just like that because we wanna lock that salt into the meat. And we're gonna add our ground black pepper. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid to season, just don't get carried away. <laughs> season too much. Lock it in there as well, just like that. I'm going to turn it on over because I want flavor on every side. I want it to be perfectly seasoned. 
These are some pretty short ribs. Mm, yes. Can't wait to cook these short ribs up. They are going to be so delicious. Add some more salt, of course. Ground black pepper. And this is the table grind. So as you can see, it's standing out. You can kind of see those granules right there. Just peeking through. Saying, what's up? <laughs> Gonna get the other side. Mm -hmm. Yes. This time around, I'm gonna go a little faster because it's the same repetitive process. We're gonna season all sides and basically lock it in by taking our hand and just pressing it in. It's just like if you're making a seared steak, it's the same thing, perfectly seasoned. And what we're gonna do is, we are gonna cook these short ribs in our Dutch pot. So, with that being said, allow the meat to sit out for about maybe two minutes because you want the seasoning to literally lock into the meat. We're gonna add our oil to our Dutch oven. Allow the oil to come up to temperature where we're gonna place our meat into this hot, as you can see, steaming Dutch oven, and we're gonna allow it to sear on all sides. We want our meat to turn nice and brown. It's gonna give it the perfect color, which is gonna to contribute to the sauce and the flavor and the gravy. Anyway, we're gonna place it in. Take a look at our short ribs. Look at how gorgeous they are. Mm, they look so edible right now, but guys, unfortunately it's not. We're just gonna uh, reserve it by putting it to the side for now. And while our oil is still hot, at this point in time, if you need to go in and take some of the oil out, definitely do so because you don't want an oily braised beef. Anyway, to this oil right here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my onions and I'm gonna start the sauteing process followed by adding the minced garlic. Our onions are nice and translucent. We're gonna add our minced garlic, stir it in really good, allow all of the flavors and aromatics to be released. We're gonna add our red bell peppers to the mix. If I must say so myself, we have a good looking veggie melody going on. And to this, we're gonna also add our all purpose flour, stir it in really good. You know flour sometimes has that flowery taste, so we're gonna cook the flour out. Now that our flour is nice and toasted, we're gonna add a little bit of water, not much. And that's gonna help with the deglazing process. While our veggie mix is on the stove doing its thing, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make some broth, yes. Because yeah, you could buy the beef broth if you want, but guess what, to me that just does not have enough flavor. I'm gonna use my beef broth base, better than bouillon, add it to the water. If you don't have the uh, beef base, of course, you better get with it, use that powder. I'm gonna add another tablespoon, because I want it to be really flavorful. To tie it in as well, we're gonna add a little bit of chicken bouillon powder. It's gonna tie it in, trust me. If you don't have the powder, add at least one and a half bouillon cubes. The beef, along with the chicken, is gonna tie the flavors together. You know I'm not gonna tell you no lie. I'm all about great flavor. Not good flavor, but great flavor. This should be well combined at this point in time. All right, moving back on over to our stove top. Let's add the ribs back to the Dutch oven. And all of those juices, can't let nothing go to waste. Just like that. And we're gonna take some of those veggies from the bottom and bring it to the top. Mm -hmm. This is perfect. And we are gonna go in with our broth.
make sure everything is submerged. our red wine or sherry as well as our Worcestershire sauce get it all in there mix it up really good we're gonna add our fresh thyme and rosemary parsley as well add that fresh parsley and we're gonna add our bay leaves and we're gonna add a little bit of barbecue sauce if you want amazing tasting food don't ask any questions just do what I do and it's gonna turn out amazing push it on down get everything in there stir it around just a bit it might be a little hard to maneuver because obviously you have the meat along with the bones in the pot but everything is gonna do what it gotta do don't worry no worries whatsoever. And last but not least, we're going to add our tomatoes to the pot. Mm -hmm. And the acidity contrast from the tomatoes is going to pull everything together. All right, it's about that time. What we're going to do is we're going to cover it down, lock it down nice and tight, and we're going to place it into our 400 degree preheated oven. Be mindful because after about 35 minutes to an hour, you should check on it to see whether or not if you need more liquid. The only time you're gonna add more liquid is if your meat is not tender enough. So off into the oven, this goes, and I am gonna continue to keep you updated. It's been about an hour and a half to two hours, and look at our braised short ribs. These things right here look absolutely gorgeous, not to mention, look at the bones. All of the bones separated literally from the meat. What does that mean? It means that our meat is so tender we're gonna go in and take these bones out unless you know you're a bone sucker you like to suck on the bone get that extra juice from it now would be the perfect time to go in there and take out these bay leaves as well um the springs of let's see thyme and all that stuff as you can see all the leaves came off and pretty much you guys get the gist of what i'm saying take a look you could just see it's tender. I don't even have to break it into pieces. You could just look at it and see. Not to mention our gravy is nice and rich. This is everything right here. And like I said, it took about an hour and a half to two hours. I did increase the heat to about four, 400, 425. And this is where we are. Just like that. Woo! Definitely five star, guys. Definitely five star worthy. And of course, all with using a few basic ingredients. Put another piece right here, and that is it. Serve it up with orzo pasta, white rice, garlic mashed potatoes. When it comes to this meal right here, it's so many possibilities, so many possibilities. Anyway, our braised beef short ribs, trust me, it doesn't only look absolutely appetizing, but it tastes so delicious. It will make the perfect holiday dinner. As always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to share these recipes, and I will catch you guys in another video. Enjoy.